Hey guys, how's it going? Kruperi in here. So I thought to record this video right after I just finished streaming. It has been the Diablo 4 launch week, two weeks, two weeks plus. I've actually streamed 18 days in a row. Um, you know, I'd like to say all day. Obviously, it's not exactly all day. Um, you know, compared to 11 years ago when Diablo 3 came out, there's, you know, a lot more things going on in my life. So um, all day is sometimes I have to do some other kind of work for a couple of hours, three hours, four hours, and then I'll get on to streaming. But I streamed um, a lot. A lot. I think I probably averaged in the 15 hours a day, something like that. I'm okay. Okay, look, if it was something where I felt like my body wasn't working normally, uh, you know, we, I pulled a plug. And that's actually, you know, a little bit of what happened 11 years ago. You know, I was, wasn't was getting enough sleep two weeks in, you know, took it a bit easy, and obviously that worked out pretty well. So, Thank you guys so much for checking out these streams. I do appreciate it greatly. It has been quite a ride. I've seen a lot of old faces, old names, I guess, when it comes to Twitch chat. And I've lived through a, a different set of memories, but, you know, it kind of... It was, it was an experience that really brought me back to when I started streaming. Of course, the circumstance and, you know, the game and all that was different, but nevertheless, with time, everything changes in some way or another. I um, want to tell you guys a bit about the journey. Yes, I like Diablo 4. Uh, I want to tell you guys a bit more about the content plan. Actually, why don't we start with the content plan? So I like Diablo 4, but I don't believe it is a game I intend to play full-time. Certainly not in the current state of the game. Right now, the game is best enjoyed if you play the character that you like most, that you think you will like most, you play it through the game, and once you hit around like level 80 or so, you're going to notice that you're not really upgrading any pieces of gear. And if you're bored of grinding up and don't feel like getting to 100, that's fine. That is the game, basically. It is a game at a point where you're exploring the game, you're learning about the game, checking out the campaign, checking out the character design, learning the mechanics, and, you know, playing through to understand the scaling and process of building a high-level character. That is the game. There is no get to high level and then do this type of thing. Yes, there's like the Lilith fight, but honestly, don't worry about that. She literally drops nothing. Okay, there's like two legendaries random that you could get in five minutes in any other instance. It's not very much like the rest of the game. Every single one of our mechanics kills you in one hit, basically. So it's more of a platformer than a boss to an ARPG. I think they just wanted something in there. But in its current state, it is a game that I do plan to cover. I do plan to play, but I think I will take an approach that is pretty similar to how I play Path of Exile, where they have new seasons, new leagues. I play those. I have fun in those. And after, you know, a week or two or something like that, the fun levels out, and I miss playing Battlegrounds. So you know what I do? I go back and I play Battlegrounds, or whatever it is that I feel like playing at the time. Speaking of which, yes, guys, I know. I very much miss playing Battlegrounds, too. We will be playing some Battlegrounds uh, coming up. I will take a little bit of time off, but we will get back into Battlegrounds. Don't worry. I do miss them. It has been a while, indeed. But as far as the Diablo 4 plan, there is a lot more of the game to cover compared to Path of Exile or something like that, because it's still at a stage where we're learning a lot of the core mechanics. I'm hoping, and it is a bit of hopium, that they are going to bring a pretty big start to their seasons. Maybe not with Season 1, but I'm hoping Season 2 will be really big. They talked about the dev livestream that Season 1's basically already ready to go. So a lot of the issues that exist in the game right now probably won't be addressed until Season 2. That is, you know, fact of the matter, unfortunately. But I think that Diablo 4 at a core is a game that can be very good. Uh, it is a game that in its current state is a little bit rough around the edges. It's like almost every single mechanic can, without too much effort, be made better. I I feel at least conceptually. There are a few very ingrained mechanics that are kind of tough to fix or change, like the level scaling. Um, yeah, 
even the armor fix armor being too crazy the reason they haven't changed that is because the mobs have armor if they you know tweak the numbers a little bit it like it can vastly screw with the difficulty of the higher levels so some things are a bit trickier to balance and i guess it will take them some time but overall it's a game that i think is worth checking out it's a game that might not blow you away right now but they have the framework for a really top tier uh, arpg um, i think diablo 4 stands on its own two legs it is its own game. It is not like Diablo 3. It is not like Diablo 2. It is not like Diablo 1. It is its own game. And I feel that um, it's not too far away from being a really great game. And to add, um, unlike, you know, at least Diablo 3, the, the team behind it uh, really does uh, bring some confidence to me. I know they've slipped up a little bit here and there. But I think they are they are going on the right track here, and I have been impressed. Certainly the biggest impression was made when they actually tackled a lot of the balance issues from the uh, open betas that we had into the server slam, into the live, and post-live. They've really tried to iron out the experience. Yes, it does seem like the game was a little bit underbaked when it launched, but at the same time, you cannot possibly deny that they're not trying to make things as good as possible as fast as they can. I think it's pretty evident they're trying to do that, and I think as long as they continue with that movement, with that attitude, with that effort, I think maybe not season one, maybe not season two, but I think we're going to have a really great game out of the Diablo genre. And I got to be honest with you guys, you know, this is more than two decades in the making. Diablo 3 personally didn't really hit a lot of the notes that I wanted out of a Diablo game. And even though Diablo 4 is possibly even more of a different game from Diablo 2 than Diablo 3 was, um, I think in many ways it does hit home a bit more. And I think for those of you that have followed the franchise for as long as I have, maybe you feel the same way. Maybe not. So, I do plan to make some more videos. I have some pretty cool interactions, pretty cool topics, some build guides still. So I will keep, a, you know, the videos coming on YouTube. But of course, I will generally be doing videos on what I am streaming. And until the next season, at least, I probably will mostly be playing Battlegrounds or, you know, who knows, something else might come my way. But with that in mind, I will first take a little bit of time off, but don't worry, we have some videos for you guys still. This is just for those joining in from the stream. So, wanted again to thank you guys so much, making this quite a special two weeks plus for me, and bringing back a lot of memories, and, you know, just feeling it again, you know. Kind of built for streaming, I guess. Hope you guys enjoyed the ride. I'll see you tomorrow.